Hey Reflections. So, very interesting things have been happening recently. And it's been challenging me to be very centered. And I don't know, ever since I've had that experience that I didn't understand on DMT, the more I wanted to understand the unknown, you know, understand what I didn't understand. <laughs> so I've always wanted to go back to that state of oneness and singularity. But I also recognized, you know, without our own perspective and our individuality that we wouldn't have this experience, you know what I mean? If we were all one, one entity, you know, just like floating, you know, just being one with everything, it would kind of just be a little boring, you know, that's why Source had to multiply and create fractals, us. <laughs> you know, it's, that's just how I see things now. So I understand, it's kind of like that in and out thing that I constantly talk about, uh, in, especially my old videos, uh, especially after trying to explain my DMT experiences because it always feels like you are everything and then you are nothing. Well, it's kind of the same thing. You, you are everyone and you're also individual at the same time because you're experiencing this individual experience to realize that you are at one with everything really. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've just been being more challenged and I've been noticing that a lot of people have been reaching out to me saying, oh my God, I just had this crazy experience and I don't know what to do. Well, here's the thing, it doesn't, like that doesn't stop just because, you know what I mean? Like it's constantly being mindful of your thoughts and controlling and centering yourself and your thoughts. Uh, and that's a lifelong thing, you know, that's, that's never going to go away. So right now, <laughs> the reason why you're so shocked is because you realize how much everything is within you and how you have to balance and everything and it's just an overload of information and I completely understand what you're going through but yeah it's an it's an everyday thing for me it never goes away I constantly have to be reminding myself to just be very mindful and to not be negative even when it's starting to happen I have to just go within and then either do a energy cleansing, maybe do some smudging, maybe do a map coning, maybe do an SLG coning, whatever, you know, maybe work with my higher self and, or maybe, you know, take some Ormus, meditate, uh, float. You know, there are so many things you can do to just ground yourself and center yourself. Another thing, grounding, that's also what I would recommend. If you feel very disassociated from this reality and you need to ground yourself back into this 3D reality, what I would do is I would try grounding. Walk in the dirt or the mud or the sand with no shoes on and that's what they did in India. They used to ground themselves uh, and that would keep them grounded to the earth and centered. And I would also surround myself with people that love me and that are non-judgmental. And I don't mean a lot of people. For me, it was myself, a friend, you know, on the phone, and my grandma. And my grandma didn't understand what was going on. She was terrified for me, but she didn't judge me. And I could always call her and be like, hey, you know, Mima, that's what I call her. Mima, I need somebody to talk to, and then she'll talk to me. So as long as you just have, you know, one person to like just hear you talk and just to give you love, 
that's really important. Surround yourself with loving people. If you don't have a loving, you know, community that or or a support system that could help you, go online. Look at online forums and try to, you know, establish something that way. And maybe you can find people that have had experiences like you and maybe you could talk to them and you won't feel so alone. Um, that that's another thing that I would do. Take Ormus, take Ormus. <laughs> um, that will also help you. But you know what I've been realizing. So yesterday, and you know, things have been a little bit rough for all of us. <laughs> you know, it's 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 been an interesting few months, and I've completely just stopped listening to the news and just looked away from the situation because it's going to give me an anxiety attack, a panic attack, and I don't have time for that right now. <laughs> I am trying to be as centered as possible. So that's another thing I would do, mind my programming. Don't watch anything scary. Don't watch, even, I can't watch scary movies. I know, that's crazy. But anything with fear, anything low vibrational, don't do that. News, don't do that. <laughs> you know, um, let's see, what else? Conspiracy theories. When you're in this really fragile state, don't do that. Save that for another time. You know, just watch very high vibrational stuff. Things will make you feel good, warm inside, fuzzy. Uh, that's what I've been doing. I've been just staying very centered. And if you can see, you know, I've been floating a lot. I've been meditating a lot. I've been doing my, you know, soilless garden work. I've been doing everything to stay as grounded and centered as possible because even though I haven't done DMT in seven or eight months, it's still a struggle for me because sometimes I still am very disassociated from this, you know, dimension and I have to ground myself back here because I feel, you know, sometimes like in between dimensions, especially when I have, you know, lucid dreams or, or hypnagogic hallucinations or, you know, time stops yeah that's happened once and i've it's it makes everything you've ever believed just be questioned and then you start freaking out and that you know like just whatever you do just don't freak out man don't freak out <laughs> that, that's what i have to tell myself constantly and it's constantly being aware of okay I might, uh, you know, am I overreacting? Am I anxious? Am I, you know, just everything is is within your yourself and your thoughts, and and that's why I've been just super conscious of <sighs> centering myself. Really, you know, that's really all I could do, and that's the synchronicity that happened yesterday. So I did an SLG, which is a soilless garden coning, and as soon as I did it money came in i mean as soon because i did you know uh, uh it's basically like organizing what you have to do my camera completely stopped recording <laughs> but anyway so i had done this slg coning soilless garden coning and i was basically doing a test for things that needed to be either reorganized or issues and problems and one of the issues was funding and as soon as i did the slg coning as soon as I did it, I got a check in the mail and you know what I mean? Like this really just very weird and very synchronistic, but I feel that once you believe something will work and again, the power of the mind and thought, obviously it's going to work. And that's what like made me just think about my thoughts. And you know, as I was in a cab, I was thinking, I really need to monitor my thoughts because I am co-creating my reality. and. You know everything that I think manifests so quickly and I went into a store to get something and while I was in the store this is the synchronicities that's happening I hear a, a talk radio program about manifesting and creating your realities and minding your thoughts like just little synchronicities like that make me think huh. The universe is talking to me <laughs> and then you know like every single time I'll go to a float when I come back I'll see two 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 you know and I'll take different routes I'll go to two different float tanks see, see this exact same building and I'm like what like just really weird odd things happening uh, you know like 
it, it's really intense and it's just you know I, I see myself improving I see everything getting better even though I was so unsure of myself before you know when I first started <laughs> when I first woke up to the weirdness that's going on and I just want to tell everybody that that was seven or eight months ago this is me now it's constantly being mindful it's constantly being on top of yourself it never goes away you know like that's why you have to take ayahuasca or DMT or LSD again is if you just forget about what's going on stop being mindful and then go back into the programming and then you want this experience again and then you're refreshed and then you know you're awesome again and then you go back to your old ways so that's basically just keeping a new way of thinking keeping a new lifestyle and just being very mindful and so yeah that's that's my advice really because it's it doesn't go away guys it doesn't go away you know like you're constantly going to have to just talk yourself or not even talk yourself just stop thinking you know stop that inner chatter that nonsense and it will always get better things always get better you know, nothing really stays the same and that's why I like thank you to everybody that's been reaching out to me and for the people that are just going through this don't worry don't worry with time everything you know gets better and this is something that you needed to grow and this is something that you will always remember and there's you know nothing else but up from here anyway reflections yeah just really cool synchronicities are happening in my life and I'm just really it's it makes me so much more hopeful you know it makes me so much more hopeful for myself for everyone and you know as long as we just keep on minding what we're thinking and what we're viewing and what we're doing to ourselves and how we're treating our bodies and how we're treating our minds then you know it we're gonna be okay anyway reflections I hope you're having an awesome 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 day